Please welcome the Honorable Michael Missel, Inspector General for the Department of Veterans Affairs and Chairperson of the CEGI Investigations Committee. Good morning. On behalf of the more than 3,000 brave and dedicated federal law enforcement agents in the OIG community, I am truly honored to announce the awards for excellence in investigation. So let's get to it. From Amtrak OIG, Jill Maroney, accepting for Dr. Michael Ligotti Investigative Team. In recognition of the unrelated investigative efforts of the Michael Ligotti Investigative Team, whose collective work brought justice to the most prolific addiction treatment fraud doctor ever charged by the Department of Justice. From the Department of Defense OIG, Amy Musso, accepting for Dakota Outerwear Investigative Team, in recognition of the multi-agency effort to protect the service members. From the Department of Education, OIG, Rodney Fair, accepting for Apex School of Theology investigative team. In recognition of exemplary investigative efforts resulting in the prosecution of Apex School of Theology for perpetrating a multi-million dollar fraud scheme to misappropriate federal financial aid funds for personal enrichment. And we have a twofer today. Rodney, stay right there. <laughs> Rodney is accepting for the Studio DRB Productions investigative team in recognition of exemplary efforts that led to the prosecution of Derek Banks and Studio DRB Productions for perpetrating the largest and costliest fraud scheme involving the Department of Education's Total and Permanent Disability Discharge Program. From the Department of Energy OIG, Anthony Ginn, accepting for Mock Services Fraud Investigative Team. In recognition of outstanding investigative work that identified major gratuities and embezzlement schemes hobbling the nation's largest effort to repurpose military nuclear material into commercial fuel to produce electricity. From the Department of Health and Human Services, OIG, Richard Hadeschelt, accepting for St. Gabriel Health Clinic investigative team. In recognition of the St. Gabriel Health Clinic investigative team, who delivered justice for the Louisiana Medicaid program and children falsely diagnosed with serious mental health disorders. Also from the Department of Health and Human Services, OIG, Teresa Daly, accepting for Patricia Durgis investigative team. In recognition of the outstanding investigation of Patricia Durgis, an assistant physician and Missouri State Representative resulting in prosecution of COVID-19 fraud, stem cell fraud, and illegal distribution of prescription drugs. From the Department of Justice OIG, Jason Higley, accepting for team responsible for convicting a deputy U.S. Marshal for cyber stalking and framing his ex-fiance for attempted sexual assault. Sounds like a lovely guy. <laughs> In recognition of the team members who investigated and successfully prosecuted a deputy United States Marshal who engaged in a scheme to frame and imprison his ex fiance Thank God she's ex. <laughs> From the Department of Labor OIG, Marcus Valle accepting for the Fontrell Brains investigative team. In recognition of the exemplary investigation and prosecution in the matter of U.S. v. Fontrell Baines, which mitigated Bain's criminal manipulation of the pandemic benefit system and served as a public deterrent for those seeking to commit fraud. From the Department of State OIG, Chris Swenson, accepting for theft of government pension investigative team. In recognition of outstanding investigative work that identified and brought to justice a subject responsible for a series of schemes that defrauded individuals of their retirement pay and other benefits amounting to approximately $5 million. From the Department of Veterans Affairs OIG, Katie O'Neill, 
for VAOIG's post-9-11 GI Bill Nationwide Fraud Initiative. In recognition of the VAOIG's efforts to combat over $100 million in program fraud impacting VA's post-9-11 GI Bill, a foundational benefit that veterans earn through their service to our country. Also from the Department of Veterans Affairs OIG, David Spilker accepting for Purvis et al. investigation. In recognition of the team's multi-jurisdictional efforts in combating bribery within VA's programs and operations, where vendors paid bribes to VA employees in exchange for purchase card and service and construction contracts with VA. Also from the Department of Veterans Affairs <laughs> OIG, Shane Osterhaus accepting for the Zison Construction Multi-Agency Investigative Team. In recognition of exceptional achievement in uncovering a conspiracy to defraud multiple federal agencies of $346 million through the misrepresentations of multiple companies' small business set-aside statuses. From the, Department, from the Federal Depart Deposit Insurance Corporation, OIG, David Suron, accepting for U.S. v. Easter Day investigative team. In recognition of the skilled investigation and prosecution of the Cody Easter Day, Easter Day Ranch's $244 million ghost cattle fraud schemes. From the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, OIG, Thomas Atherton, accepting for investigation of 20-year kickbacks and bribery fraud investigations team in recognition of exceptional team achievement in the investigation of a 20-year kickback scheme that defrauded NASA and the Internal Revenue Service through $700,000 in bribes in exchange for federal contracts. From the National Security Agency, OIG, Holly PC accepting for labor mischarging in recognition of outstanding investigative work resulting in a jury conviction after a month-long trial for fraud by a chief executive officer who was a contractor within the intelligence community. For the Special Inspector General for Pandemic Recovery, Roger D. Decidas, accepting for TEC Ventures LLC investigative team, in recognition of outstanding collaboration by a multidisciplinary investigative team of forensic accountants, investigators, and attorneys, resulting in the prosecution of Daniel Tisson. From the U.S. Postal Service OIG, Sean Bayer, in recognition of Special Agent Sean Bayer's outstanding investigation efforts leading to the prosecution of a major Postal Service subcontractor who had been defrauding the Postal Service through the Facilities Maintenance Service contract. Also from the U.S. Postal Service OIG, Roger Hine accepting for compounding solutions insurance fraud in recognition of the outstanding interagency investigative partnership led by Special Agent Adam Watson, which resulted in the prosecution of a major health care provider fraud scheme that defrauded health insurance providers and the DOL OWCP. Also from the U.S. Postal Service OIG, Harjat Saudi, Protective Analytics for Investigations into Pandemic Aid Fraud, in recognition of the creation of the Special Unit Pandemic Response Dashboard, which resulted in identifying hundreds of pandemic relief cases with criminal and administrative actions and tens of thousands of dollars returned to the USPS. So congratulations to all the recipients for awards of excellence in investigation.